So as humans, male or female, we all want to be respected. Who doesn't want to be respected? Come on. Everyone needs to be respected and everyone wants to be respected. Where this desire increases is where there's lack of respect. It is where there's lack of respect that respect becomes a demand. But should it be demanded? Should it not be given in response to love? Because where love is being practiced, then it should be easy to find respect in that environment. It is where there's lack of love, there's lack of consideration, there's disregard of others, dehumanization of others, discrimination of others, that human beings begin to demand for respect. And in some cases, you have respect being given, but the one who is at the receiving end starts to feel entitled of that respect because it's been so given to the recipient that the recipient begins to belittle the one who gives it, begins to feel more superior than the one who gives it. That's when arrogance steps in. That's where disrespect of the very one that gives the respect begins to set in. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breakage Barriers. If this is your first time here, my name is Blessing, but you can also call me Lady B. So, why do men so much demand for respect? And I'm talking here about men who believe they are not in receipt of respect from the female gender. And this is top list of one of the issues that arises in relationships, be it in marriage or engagement. So one of the male gender's requests from women is respect. You see, most men, even the most gentle man, <laughs> you know, always state that word respect, as long as you respect me. And what is it about men asking to be respected? Is it that women are lacking? Or is it that some of these men have been so battered in society that the last place expected to be disrespected is at home by the one who they profess to love that is the wife or the girlfriend looking at this logically men are naturally physically the stronger gender it's just the endowment that's how they are created men are also generally considered to be protectors because of their physical endowment. So if they are protectors and they actually protect the woman, protect the society, protect the family, protect the community, would it not be in gratitude that these same men are appreciated, are treated with respect, are considered as important and are approached and treated in a respectful manner just a way of gratitude not because they are more superior than the female gender but because of the role that they play in society the role that they play in the family the role that they play in the community is a way of gratitude at least that's how the African spirituality views it. That's the approach that the African spirituality takes pre-colonization in the ancient African culture. Respect was paramount. 
not just in the male female relationship but in the community generally respect was highly encouraged and part of that culture that pre-existed still exists currently in the african culture but in today's world that word respect plays parallel to men or the male gender is completely taken out of context is misunderstood today because some men feel so entitled with that word respect respect me respect to the man should be natural respect to the man should be encouraged because of the position they hold just like when you look at a president you don't respect the president because the president is a superhuman being or cannot be reproached cannot be scolded because he's a president no a president is respected because of the position he holds is a representative of the entire country so he holds a very important role it's the same thing with a man the place of a man is an extremely important role the man is the seed bearer the woman is not complete without the man we need our men to complete us and vice versa especially for the fact that they are protectors they protect the family from harm they protect the woman from harm so if a man is protecting in today's world he's termed as a leader because how else can the protection be established if he is not in that leadership position? Again, the word leadership sometimes is misunderstood. Because you are in leadership, just like a president, doesn't mean you are now a superhuman, you are now more superior than the other. It only means you are a representative of the community, the family. You are the face that is seen before the community is seen. Without the community or the country, a president cannot be a president, can he? Because at the end of the day, who will he be presiding over <laughs> if the community or the country is not there? The same thing goes with the man. Who will the man be in leadership of if the woman and the children are not there? So the man has to be as a leader and as in every role of leadership. You need to be humble enough to relate with your family your wife, the children, the community because the community makes the leader. The country, any country makes the president. The president does not make the community. The community makes the president because the president is from the community just like the man. The man is from the woman because the man is in leadership does not mean the woman or the family are now inferior to the man hence the man demanding the family respect me you need to respect me no that's not how it works man that's not how it works you also as the one in leadership needs to be in submission to your family need to be in touch with your family need to be in touch with your community and as you lead and protect your family your wife that's where the respect comes from that's where the honor comes from your role of leadership as a man the way you lead represents the family the way you love your family the way you treat your family the way you protect your family with all your fiber as a hard-working human being the reward of that hard work of leadership the reward of that hard work of taking on the burden of being a representative of your family risking it all with yourself 
as a leader is the respect you get from the woman, from the family, from the community. This is how the ancient African culture teaches it to be. But what we have right now is a kind of entitlement of respect without doing the work, without being that true protector of the woman and the family. So respect is reciprocal. As the male gender, as you lead and protect your wife and family and gain that respect from your wife and family, so should this respect from the wife and family be reciprocated back. As the leader, you can't become so arrogant, demanding for respect. It's going to be a spiraling down of position. It should be wrapped around love. It should be wrapped around giving the service of protection, love, sensitivity towards your wife and family. And when I mean sensitivity does not mean weakness. Sensitivity is understanding the welfare of your wife or the female gender that you're surrounded with or in relationship with. Our men deserve to be respected because of the position they hold, a position of a protector, a provider, a lover, and a seed bearer. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Hope to see you again next time. Take care now. Bye.